Hi guys, welcome to our next episode. Today we will talk about twitch bait fishing. But first, Dieter. Uh, yeah, first I will introduce you, of course. So today I'm <laughs> with Dieter de Blauwe, who is a pro staffer for Rapala and 13 Fishing. Um, and uh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> so, um, did you go fishing today, this weekend? We did go fishing this weekend, but uh, we ended up fishing uh, in Belgium something we don't do a lot uh we had quite a i think 50 50 fish so that's quite a good session 50 fish in belgium yes that's but quite oh okay. this size all right zanders yeah yeah, yeah we okay, had okay. a lot of fun all right good hey hey wesley hey dimi hey matthias hi guys hi guys um <laughs> you're in the truck dimi watch out don't watch the screen too much <laughs> that we don't crash um so the weather is really awful last days yeah. but uh okay let's let's see what you did actually because i had some footage i i get it from uh, i got it from louis from my good friend louis <laughs> <laughs> let's see how you fished this weekend uh and there we go so uh vertical fishing vertical fishing with live scope okay yeah. great um and what do you do? Just leave the, the bait, let's say. Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, another one. Louis, whoa, what a, a spaghetti rod is that, man? <laughs> <laughs> so flexible, but okay. Must be, or oh, it's a huge zander. Wait, wait for it. Oh, man, what is, what a drill. Oh, no, it's okay. It's just a, a plastron. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very small. small but we had a lot of fun. And, uh, Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice netting uh, skills there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. We didn't even bring the net, so. <laughs> we were, oh. Uh, okay. You were that confident. Yeah, we're we're ready for it. Okay. Cool. Good luck live from the web shop. Okay. Uh, Louis, you are indeed here live in the <laughs> web shop <laughs> and in the chat room. <laughs> the chat room. Okay. Uh, oh, I see Christophe is also joining. Cool. Um, so. Let me show you what we did this weekend. Uh, I went fishing with uh, Jeffrey. Uh, we went to Holland. The weather was had a, we had a small break. Let's say it was on Friday. Okay, it was it was not on the weekend. Uh, on Friday, small break in the weather and the wind, and uh, we went fishing. Uh, here are the here's the movie. I I actually forgot to um, attach the microphone, so there's no sound. But here you are. Uh, let's say twitch bait fishing, and uh, Jeffrey is is catching a really good. Uh, perch and as a, a good friend as I am, I'm dropping my my rod immediately to not help him <laughs> with the net. Save him. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just yeah. Here, here's your net, and now I'm taking the camera. But it makes me uh, it makes it possible to have really cool footage of the action which I'm showing right about now. There we go. So Ooh, an slow mo. Yeah, in slow mo. <laughs> and, uh, and Ob is always Juicy. interested in what we catch. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really a big perch uh, on the twitch bait for Jeffrey. Uh, he is actually trying to position the net uh, so that the, the lure is not tangled up too much. Yeah. And here we go. Uh, Ta -da. Yeah. On the hearty rise divinity rod, of course. Really nice rod. Really, really nice blank with top colors. Uh, voila. <laughs> okay. How big was that fish? Uh, Forty-nine. Nice. Yeah, there it is. And Ooh. round yeah, and yeah, yeah, fat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just touching 49. And this brings us to our, let's say, topic of the day. And this is uh, twitch bait fishing. Okay, right. so for me, twitch bait fishing is a bit unknown. It's from all the, uh, let's say, all the topics that we bring here in the episodes. It's the one that I least know. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's why you yeah. are here. <laughs> I right. hope you will. Uh, you I can learn us a bit more about twitch bait fishing. Yes. So tell me, what is twitch bait fishing? Uh, what is twitch bait fishing? A twitch bait is a, a hard bait. It's a bait you uh, move the rod. You move the rod to make the lure move by it. How do you say this? So the the lure does not have no no, no. action or you much action on its, its own. It's not a, a steady retrieve. It's just a very active fishery. And uh, it catches fish all year round. Okay. You can use it all year round. It's a very... Yeah. Eff yes, yes, yes. Okay, so <laughs> winter, summer... Yeah, I must say uh, winter is the most effective period and the most fun, I would say. 
Okay. And uh, what what types of fish? All species. All species. Okay. Really, nice. all species. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so it's a uh, let's say an uh, allure that you the, the action is brought by yourself. Yeah. And always Wesley good. also loves twitch baits. Okay, so what you guys can do if you are fishing twitch baits, just drop in the chat what is your favorite lure. All right. We we will maybe we will go over a lot of lures later on, but uh, maybe some are here and uh, we can show it. it. Would be cool. Uh, well, okay, so do you fish uh, twitch boats from the boat or from the shore? What What, what is your favorite I type? Uh, I started uh, twitch bait fishing two years ago. I started from shore. I uh, taught myself uh, a little bit and I learned by uh, YouTube videos and things like this, uh, podcasts. Okay. The thing I did was uh, I took a box of twitch baits, I took one rod and I went fishing for one week straight every day, only twitch bait. I had uh, the opportunity to do this because my wife was still studying, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise oh yeah. no you. way. And uh, yeah, I just kept, uh, kept holding practicing on. Yeah. and perfecting I had technique. four days without any fish, but I stuck to it and the thing is, if you lose the mojo, I would say the mojo of the you need to believe to catch. That's okay. the thing. Okay. Like when you when you start doubting yourself, you start <coughs> twitching like this. You do stupid things. And you don't catch fish. No. Okay. Cool. So some guys are already commenting. So uh, Paul is actually saying uh, this pro Iruku. This one, this one I don't know personally. Uh, Wesley, the Rapala Shadow Rap Chat, yeah, Rap Chat, we, we know guy. this one, yes. <laughs> uh, Alec, he says the Mega Bass 110, yes, yep, of course, we have sure. a lot of those laying around here. Um, uh, what is Paul saying? Up the wall, I saw it uh, years ago there. with uh, Willem Stalk, it was very effective then. Uh, a lot of big Xanders are caught with it. Okay, yeah. 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 My first it. fish were Xander too on the okay, twitch bait. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, would you say that you prefer a certain bottom type? Is it um, sandy, murky, muddy, rocky in the plants? I would say where the fish are. <laughs> okay, that's so. Yeah, that's really the thing because you, you don't have any contact with the bottom. You always stay above the bottom. If you... If you most of the time how I started was I was uh, just uh, f fishing with a, a drop shot or a shaky head or whatever. I catch one fish yeah. and then I try to catch another one with a twitch bait. With a bit twitch bait. Okay. Because then you know the fish yeah, are there, yeah. that's good for the confidence. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cool. Very cool. Okay, but and then you, <coughs> you started to become like effective in the twitch, twitch bait yeah. technique. And then you started mainly fishing twitch yeah, bait. Yeah, then I had the mojo. I, the I, mojo. I, be, I, believe, <laughs> I believed in the twitch bait okay. and from then on. I had one uh, session where I caught eight uh, Xander, cast after cast, and then I was like, yeah, I got this, but you, you don't, ha I don't didn't, have I this. Didn't, uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Uh, so you, you, you said uh, every day after work or something you did it, so it means you can also uh, do this in Norwegian. Eh? We, we, we go fishing a lot in Holland, but yeah. You it's can possible do this in to do this. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of okay. course. So a lot of, let's say, zanders and canals, you just can fish uh, on Twitch bait. Yeah. Like I fish uh, a lot of the Hampton Nuzen canal. Okay. And then you have the, the high straight walls. I would say that's a very good place to n uh, not lose any expensive lures. Okay. Because when, like you said, maybe the, the mussels or the stones, when you get a Twitch bait stuck. You're done That's gone. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we have a, a picture of uh, or, or a movie of you twitching uh, twitch bait fishing at canal canals and uh, That's that epic day. Okay, <laughs> the epic day. So you, you took the GoPro as well. Uh, so uh, there you are, just coming in first and twitch bait technique. Okay, we will discuss this later. This is pre spawn, so I'm not fishing that fast. Okay. Yeah. There I felt some pressure and then I just set, uh, set it. It was a huge sand. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
You want me to skip the rest of the video? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh yeah, there it is. Your net. All right. Good. Uh, so let's start with the video then. Christopher is saying everyone's always talking about 110, but there are the other brands who are cheaper and even effective. Yes, we will we will discuss this uh, later. Can I on. just uh, answer Alec? Yeah. Because Alec, you should go to the the more uh, side of, to the Holland side of this bridge. Like 15 minute drive, then you have uh, clear water, and that's a very good place. I didn't lose any. Uh, Jerbaits there, and I caught my first uh, 40 plus birds there. Okay, cool. Oh, in, uh, in Belgium. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in uh, he has a lot of duplicates from Ali, and which will, we will not mention in the Fudge Beta or cut out. Oh no, this is live. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, good. Um, so we were talking um, uh, Ross and Rios. So what Ross. did you bring today? Uh, let's go to the top cam maybe. Maybe I'll just uh, start with spinning reels. Yeah. Spinning setup. So the the one I mainly use from the boats is this one. It's the uh, the Envy Black Rod from Thirteen Fishing. Maybe it's better actually in the the main cam to show. Uh, there we go. Just point it at the yeah. camera, and the camera will focus on it. No, I a like bit, bit further like this. Yeah, I have short arms. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, cool. You can see the, the it's a short butt. Uh, this is the shortest piece because you need to, to have some freedom. Okay. I, I and when I twitch, I do it always from the wrist. I do like this and very loose. And I don't want uh, a long end here. A long butt. Because yeah. when you have longer arms, it's no problem. But <laughs> for me, it's uh, okay. a problem. And then I'll talk about uh, the action of the rod. It's a pretty crisp rod. So I'll, I'll yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, okay. you can see the action. A bit, go a bit there, that direction. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, super uh, stiff. It's not soft. It has a bit of boat. Okay. But this one it really bends uh, in, in a great way, so you can. Uh, it's a bit like a, a Carolina rig. A little bit, but it needs to be stiffer because when stiffer. you jerk, you don't want your tip wobbling. Okay. You have the yeah. snap, and then. It should return to its yeah, original position immediately. immediately. Okay. You cool. don't. You don't want that. It, it's going to be uh, hard on the wrist also. Oh yeah, All day the the, the, the wiggly. Uh, okay. So that spinning uh, rod. Yeah. Oh, and this I always fish uh, with a braided line, very thin okay. braided line. Next up, I uh, actually have two uh, bait casting setups. Okay. Let's go to the top can then. This is a Shimano. Very light uh, setup. But and I, and I fish uh, base bait casters always with a fluorocarbon line. Yeah. So the question is, uh, is this like a soft jerkbait rod? This is for small jerkbaits because yeah. it's a very uh, parabolic rod. Like Para parabolic, but very, but Fast but stiff, safer. yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the sweet spot. You need, a, yeah, <laughs> you need to find really that sweet sweet spot. You, okay. you need to, and then it needs to return to uh, original position. Okay. As fast as possible. Okay. We have another one. But this is this is the ro the rod I use for the smaller bait. We'll get into that later. And this is the thirteen fishing rod I've been using uh, for one year now. Okay. Bit heavier, uh, but. I use oh, this you one. You should throw it in the camera, of course, like this. Okay. I don't see the camera. Yeah, yeah, the top <laughs> camera. So. Okay. I use this one for uh, bigger, like uh, the deep diving uh, jerk baits. Okay, so which uh, it's, it's indeed heavier as well. Which uh, model is this? This is a Fate V3. Thirteen fishing Fate V3. Casting. Oh, nice and white. And it's a white one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Okay. Something different. Yeah. Something <laughs> different. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'll show you uh, as well. Uh, what I use, but I'm not the expert, of course. Um, I'll judge. I <laughs> <laughs> you'll judge. <laughs> Actually, I 
like the, the spinning rod a bit the same as you. Uh, it's the Hearty Rise Valley Hunter, which I actually use also for a bit of finesse uh, fishing. Also the short butt again. Short, short yeah. butt indeed, you don't want it uh, yeah, touching your body, let's say, when you're uh, doing the twitch bait fishing. Um, and indeed a bit softer uh, on the tip. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot, uh, but again, I'm not the expert. Uh, and then for the reel, it's a, it's a bit like a vertical uh, fishing rod. Uh, it's my Top Gun, <laughs> <laughs> top gun uh, Is this rod. a budget uh, setup? It's a low budget setup, <laughs> yes, with the Metania, Shimano Metania right. uh, DC. Um, yeah, with also braided line. Yeah. I really like it a lot. It's uh, not too stiff and uh, still has the. You fish the braided line on a bait caster. Yeah, yeah. But Great. it's because the braided line was already on. Oh, there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. That's okay. Why would you use braided line or uh, mono or fluo? Um, uh, I mainly use uh, braided line and fluo, fluoro, because on a spinning setup. I mostly use a spinning setup to get the distance. Yeah. You can get the distance uh, with a fluorocarbon you get with a braided line. It's it's not the same. Okay. But the advantage of a, a fluorocarbon is that it, it's uh, very stretchy. Okay. You're fishing with uh, treble hooks. Maybe you, yeah, you. How many fish did you lose on treble hooks? None. <laughs> yeah, maybe, uh, last session, maybe two or something. You lost two? Yeah. Uh, let's say I lost more fish on, uh, on a braided line than on a fluorocarbon line because okay. this absorbs a lot. Yeah, yeah, absorbs really, the, really good. Okay, the, the shocks, let's say. And it's fun to fish. Okay. You can, it's like a, a, a band, yeah, yeah, a rubber band. band yeah. yeah, and it's really like... Okay. You should try next it. time okay. you try it. Okay. We also have some other uh, questions or uh, uh, comments. I use the Congo Strito caster four to sixteen grams with the Daiwa Alphas Air TV good for twitching small twitch bait. Ooh, that's that's good. a BFS zero setup, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, zero point uh, zero six braid and BFS style fishing. Yeah, it looks uh, very fun, but yeah, uh, maybe you cannot use the, the big uh, lure then. Uh, okay, cool. Actually I use a BFS uh, real on my light uh, setup so uh, i get what uh, alec is saying okay good good one nice <laughs> other uh, setups you can post in the comments yeah tell us. um but actually i see we are already uh some minutes uh busy talking about twitch weight fishing so we will start with a small uh or we will do a small break um in this after the break we will do the giveaway again uh, it will teaser? Not, it will teaser? Not, no no <laughs> no teaser it will not be a mega buzz one then. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. but okay if you are not yet uh, following our channel please uh, make an account follow our channel and you are you can compete for the giveaway um, tell your friends tell your friends indeed um, we are also posting these videos afterwards always on YouTube um, and in the in the break you will be able to uh, see a small uh, compilation let's say of our day uh, fishing uh, with twitch beach baits well, from uh, last Friday so if you like this video as well it's also in the in our, on your YouTube YouTube channel afterwards all right so uh, so don't forget account follow stay tuned for the giveaway and enjoy the break you uh, oh, no actually my planning says something different after the break we will have a uh, very cool footage uh, with which we made uh, friday and this is uh, where you can see the the reaction of the of the fish on the twitch bait on the live scope and for that i have a small teaser here you go so what can we see here it's uh jeffrey is fishing the twitch bait and it's at you can see actually the fish now coming up and he hooks a fish oh but my god yeah who is that guy yeah he's crazy <laughs> and then of course you can see the fish just uh, leaving the boat again so it was he he, he lost the fish 
but uh, maybe it was a bit too fast. Let's go back to the main cam. That's the coolest thing ever to watch them uh, eat and it on live. That's and then crazy. Let's check the teaser again. So please check uh, the touch bait is around five meters uh, away. You can see the action and then you can see the fish coming up. He's following and wow. following and then he takes the lure. So more, more of this, uh, let's say the footage is coming up after the break. Um, so now enjoy the break time.
Hello, we are back. Today's session is Twitch bait fishing with Dieter de Bloe from Rapala Dirty Fishing. So I see some comments in the in the chat as well. So uh, Wesley is using a uh, um, let's say a stiffer rod for the 110 plus 3 and Alec is uh, wondering if you use the X-Rap scoop as a type of bait um, as also eff effective in this time of the year it's not a real twitch bait but you can have it give it your action yourself any comments on that one the the, the thing is uh, the, the X-Rap scoop is a, is a, a cast and retrieve bait so you just steady retrieve and it has this very nice uh what do you say gliding action, gliding yeah. action okay. but the the secondary thing is that you can do with it is just cast it out and let it sink to the bottom and then snap it up and let it sink on a a bit slow jigging line yeah there. not on a stiff line you need to give it some space to drop it's very much the same as uh with this one from rapala i don't know if yep. you can see this yeah this is an actual scoop uh, a spoon, sorry, and this works great and the same way uh, the X-Rap scoop, scoop does. So steady retrieve, you can give it uh, some twitches if you want, you, you'll see what uh, the, the lure does, but it's a very effective lure for pike. Try it. Okay, nice. I'll just comment on, uh, on Paul, he's asking me if we are using the hummingbird for the maps and why not Garmin. Uh, we are also indeed a lot of, uh, a big fan of Garmin and uh, hummingbird, but uh, we are lazy and uh, hummingbird is the only one, or let's say Minkota is the only uh, uh, one that has the self-deploying uh, trolling motor. So uh, that's why we got the Minkota Altera, which is only connectable with a hummingbird. And uh, yeah, I like it, I use it uh, already a couple of years. It's uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, Jeffrey indeed, uh, Ultera power because <laughs> you, you don't want to put in the Garmin Force front roller. Um, voila. So that's a bit the reason. Uh, also, as a let's say a, a distributor of different brands, I'd, I'd like to have the uh, multiple brands on my boat to, to make the comparison. What are, are the advantages or, uh, or or the difficulties with one or the other? Eh? I, I cannot so sell four brands and only know one brand for, uh, or fish with one brand. Uh, okay, but back to the today, um, we will have a giveaway and a, a lure of the week. So Dieter, you brought a cool lure of the week. Tell me, what is it? The lure of the week is the one we caught the most fish with uh, last session. And that's the 13 fishing churro. Okay, a sm rather small uh, yes. paddle tail. It's a very small paddle tail swim bait. With what? What uh, is the... That's a 28 gram uh, jig head. In perfect. Tungsten. Yeah, tungsten. perfect for uh, this bait to keep it yeah, nice for and deep. vertical fishing. What's the special thing about this lure? It's the, the big tail. It's a very heavy wobble tail, very slow, perfect in winter time. Okay, so very nice for yes. Xander fishing. Okay, so that is our giveaway of the week. It's, uh, let's say, one uh, package of... 30 fishing churro um, uh, lures, uh, soft baits. So if you want to participate, I will now um, start with the giveaway. Uh, where is my giveaway? It's somewhere that I closed before uh, or in the break probably. So Dieter, keep on talking. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, Tap it up. Uh, so they give away here and start giveaway. All right, guys. Yeah, wait. I'll just have to reconfigure this a bit. Oh, what do, do they need to type? It's giveaway uh, explanation mark. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Apparently, I closed this in the in the. I think we caught over three quarters of all the fish on the on the churro last week so it's really a great uh, all right everybody's uh, tuning in yeah and everybody's participating, participating for the giveaway oh greg you are also here welcome cool um so uh this was the lure of the week so back to twitch bait fishing so i'll now go to the top cam because we have a lot of goodies here laying in front of us on the table candy candy indeed there we go. 
So these are, uh, these are uh, let's say, my uh, lures, and uh, two of them I borrowed from Jeffy, uh, or stole from Jeffy. And then <laughs> the other ones are yours, and uh, this is from the shop, of course. But shop. so tell me a bit uh, what uh, re uh, lure you like to use, uh, when would you use it, uh, morning, uh, sunny, cloudy, uh, murky water, clear water, uh, so go ahead. I'll just give uh, my three categories. There are the shallow water baits, deep mid divers. I'll start with the shallow uh, crankbait, uh, twin bait, bait, sorry. Yeah. This is the Rapala Countdown Elite. It's a fast sinking twitch bait. And I added the VMC, uh, how do you call this? These are the VMC hooks with the little uh, spinner blades on them to make them extra heavy. Let's show it in the main cam. Just in, in front so that maybe it's a bit clearer. <coughs> yeah. All right. This is very a very nice. fast diving and on the dive, uh, sinking and on the sink, it uh, wobbles like this. So it's very, you're just letting it sink and it's already given a lot of action. And with the blades, it's, it's just uh, 100 time, uh, things at a time. So it's a very interesting uh, bait. And I mainly use this uh, for summer fishing. Summer fishing, so yeah. a lot of action, a lot, a lot of, of vibration, uh, and you want to a lot of things these going on. Summer perch or fish. So we have the chat. Let's see. So everybody uh, want want to have the giveaway, and then it's uh, Guy. He's chatting for the first time. I have a one uh, ten twitch bait. I'm not trying to. I'm, I don't want to use them because they cost a lot of money. Which uh, lures would you? Uh, recommend uh, so okay we, we can go over a bit of the lures yeah, uh, which we are doing okay. now uh, so we had the uh, elite countdown uh, countdown elite from Rapala yeah go ahead what uh, just to pick on uh, what Guy said I would recommend uh, the, sh the Rapala shadow wrap deep 11 they are uh, less than half uh, of what a, a, a mega boss 110 costs so and they really, really are a good lure. I, I use them all year round and they really do the job. You can't compare them with the, the 110 because it's a whole other game. You can buy two of these for one of these, so it's, it's okay. normal. And so it, you say it's a whole other thing, but uh, do they have like a whole other action then? Are they equally good? They are equally good, but they are not equally good. You can't say that because of the price. This has the 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 high end casting system. Okay. This one will just yeah. shoot into the air like nothing. Uh, a, a, a shadow wrap depot catch uh, a little more air, so it will spin a little. Okay. It does not have the special uh, yeah far casting no, system. No. Yeah. Okay. Cool, but let's let the colors of, of this one is very nice. I will just try to change to the camera again. You can show it in the camera. It's uh, what is it, olive green or something? Uh, yes, as a color. It's very, yeah, very nice and this vibrant color. This is um, actually my favorite color from this lure. So, okay, good. Are they also supposed suspending? They are, uh, funny thing is, they are uh, slow rise, slow, slow rise. sink. Sorry, slow sink. Slow sink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, so okay. you can fish but very very slow sink so you can fish these uh at four meters you can fish them at two meters okay very nice um so these were let us go to the top cam again uh so you said uh what was it again deep divers mid and l and high shallow oh, yeah. shallow shallow yeah. that's okay maybe i'll go to the deep divers yeah. this is uh the top cam is on, all right. Yeah, yeah. The Megabuzz X80, I think, Mac okay. X80, and this is a very fast uh, sinking lure, very, very fast. I think uh, Jeffrey also used yeah. this one in yeah. the weekend. It's great. Uh, of course, maybe you see fish on, <coughs> excuse me, you f see fish on a uh, depth of eight meters, let's say seven, and when, when casting from the boat, it's almost impossible to get a twitch bait at that uh, depth so this one is very handy for fishing deep with your twitch bait okay another one we have is the mega boss okay yeah. you take them all yeah take them all the mega boss uh plus two okay 110 plus two 
I think everybody knows this lure by now. Uh, casts like a rocket, uh, very good hooks, uh, goes very uh, fast at uh, to the depth uh, it says, and then great colors, yeah, and also great action. Yeah, that's what I personally like a lot about the Mega Bass uh, lures that they have such a special colors. Eh? Uh, you don't see it almost anywhere these kind of colors uh, this one is also very yeah it's uh, the greenish with purple on top and the white belly um, yeah of course they also have the it's the never fire ti tiger uh, <laughs> this is standard but look at this one it's a uh, yeah. that's a gg flash yeah that's a it's great, flashing, great. Yeah. it's uh, yeah very nice all right good um what would you say uh, color wise uh, would you recommend for uh, one type of water or, or the other? Or um, you have any comments on that or, or you don't believe in colors? I Could believe you? in colors very much. Uh, <laughs> I start off by looking at what the weather conditions are. So if you have a bright sunny day, I'll go for more of a flashing type of lure. Okay. Uh, but still uh, really natural color then maybe when you have a, a darker day yeah more cloudy cloud cloudy day i'll go for a harder color that has no uh, translucent uh that's not translucent okay oh yeah uh, the, the top camera so okay so this one uh, which is a bit translucent yeah transparent let's say um and has a uh, flashy colors on clear days and sunny days and then on cloudy days with more yeah white yeah, harder, harder color, color yeah so yeah. no uh, sun can penetrate okay it. nice uh what i also have in my collection <laughs> is the the new uh, shimano technology which is called flash boost it's actually like um, a suspending piece of uh tin foil or how do you call it uh in the lure so if the the lure is still but because of the previous action it keeps on uh, flashing I think it's quite nice. I this one uh, it's the the first one I have now, but it's, it's a bit too shallow t in my water that I use. But I will definitely uh, try to fish more of these uh, lures with the the flash boost. I, I haven't like tried it, it but uh, I I heard it, it's a very good lure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so you want to add something more about lures? I don't know. Uh, if I there are questions on the chat. Please ask them. I wanted to ask you, uh, what lure did you guys use this weekend? Ah, this weekend we actually used uh, a lot is the uh, the striking KVD deep jerk bait. Uh, uh, yeah, striking, um, yeah. It was actually I we chose it more uh, uh, because of the the depth we were fishing. Mm -hmm. It was around two meters deep, so uh, yeah, you just uh, this lure is, loud. is is quite loud. I think it, the microphone is here, so um, uh, yeah, we, we used it yeah, because of the depth and, and, and used it was a bit uh, sunny, but also a bit overcast at times. So uh, both these these two colors, let's say, were the, the biggest favorites. Um, I actually don't have them in the shop anymore, but I will uh, restock my uh, my shop for these lures because I really yeah they worked really really nicely. And these are suspending too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, slow, right. slow sinking actually because uh, we we could when when following them on the live scope we could by the way we were let's say twitching them uh, we could uh, steer them a bit higher or a bit bit down uh, more uh, down so that was um, was successful. Uh, let's see on the chat. Uh, some pointers on how to not lose lures yes uh, and to try to go very shallow in the summer uh, top water in the dark who still looks uh, interesting uh, and then Erwin is also joining the live stream okay so anything more to add on uh, lures when Fishing uh, a jerkbait, I also look uh, twitch bait. I also look at the uh, how they sit in in the water. Like you have a, a suspending bait that will sit like this. The Rapala the Shadow Wrap Deep does this. The Mega Bus One Ten Plus One uh, sits more like this because of the weight. 
it shoots over to the, the front and it's always very necessary to keep the bill down for when you put action in it so you get the first water so you can shoot straight from the can you see this on the cam yeah yeah perfect the, the, yeah. the, the new camera is perfect yeah <laughs> okay right. great also i saw you have this one it's the the smaller one it's i don't know the name by heart because i cannot remind them all it's the shadow red jack deep uh, I remember we used this a lot in summer, but why? How do you use them as twitch bait? That's the the thing. You can use them as a twitch bait. They are very uh, much of a floater. It's a, actually it's not a real twitch bait. It's a finesse crank bait, but you can use them as a, a twitch bait. Okay. We we caught so much fish on this uh, <laughs> while fishing the lure masters. It was crazy. This is really a good one. We trolled this one, and the thing we did was, uh, yeah. Okay, you can see this. Yeah. Just trolling. You see on live scope, we see a fish uh, coming off the bottom, and we just uh, give line. Yeah. We let it ha hang. It goes slowly up, and we had so many bites. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> it was really yeah, yeah fun I remember when preparing for Lure Master, we also used a lot of these. Um, they are great. And then. I see some more uh, lures with the small feathers. Here there's one. So when would you, let's say, use this one? Uh, fishing for small fish. Smaller <laughs> yeah, fish, okay. It's more it's these regions then? The yeah. feathers are not really uh, the feathers are aesthetic are then. A, a fun, f a fun extra, but I, I don't believe in oh, okay. the secondary. Big added value. Yeah, it's okay. not a secondary power. <laughs> Good. So I think we had... We talked a lot about lures. Let's see what the chat gives. What if there's a lot of current? I think this is difficult. As if there's a lot of current, the your line will get taken away, and, and exactly the the slack you will need to give, it will be very difficult to give. I never fish uh, in, in a current. In current. No, we also fish a lot in the let's say the big uh, Holland waters, uh, <laughs> and there's not much. Uh, uh, current there. Jeffrey likes the hearty rise divinity for twitch bait fishing. Yeah, we saw it in the beginning of the live stream. It was clearly uh, in the picture. Indeed, it was really a nice rod with a really, really good action. Um, what is your favorite twitch bait? So, pick one favorite, Dieter. I would say the Shadow Wrap Deep 11 yeah. because I use this one all year round and the most of the time and it won't break uh, the bank. And your favorite color which is olive green? Yeah, OG. OG, <laughs> OMG, okay. Yeah, for me it's the it's the KV, the, the Strike King KVD, uh, but I don't really have a, a favorite color. <laughs> Not yet. I don't, I d actually don't even own one, <laughs> I just steal them from Jeffrey. Okay. Good, uh, that was, let's say, uh, everything from uh, lures. Uh, what else? Okay, so uh, in the before the break, we, we had a, a small teaser about fish following the lures on the live scope. We had have some quite uh, cool uh, movies uh, still there. I will uh, start one up. Um, there's There it is, because we have talked a lot now. And we will go to fishing uh, footage again. So this was again a, f uh, a, a video. So what you can see is the lure, which is Jeffrey twitch baiting. That's around five meters and you can actually see the fish following it like crazy. <laughs> this was something we didn't uh, really uh, knew or we didn't really, um, let's say, uh, uh, thought about that the, the fish were following so, uh, so crazy on the lures. Uh, we, we thought um, you are twitch baiting, uh, hup, 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 and then the, the fish is on the bottom and once you you're stopped it's, it takes it immediately and that's mm. it but what we saw on the live scope is that the, the fish is actually wow, following it through the All different the uh, <laughs> twitches so that was really interesting why would they be so uh, crazy about these twitch baits what is triggering them that much uh, the trigger is uh, and, and the thing I believe is uh, it has two factors that are very common uh, fish catch catchers in, uh, in fishing and angling all by itself. It's uh, you can leave the lure perfectly still, 
Yeah. They have the time to look at it, like what is this? And then you have that shocking effect from the, the, the lure yeah. moving to Just one side, randomly. to another side. And it, it's like, oh, what's that? What's this? And it's like triggering them. Yeah. If, if I don't take the lure right now, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. So, yeah. Um, let's see what this, the, this chat is giving. Are you attaching the twitch bait directly on the, uh, l let's say, the fluorocarbon, the, 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 the leader, or is it uh, with the V-snap? Uh, I always use um, fast edge because that's edge. the most the lightest. Uh, okay. uh, I think. You don't want to influence the let's say the, the suspending action by yeah. adding too much weight with uh, snaps or something like that. Yeah. Okay. What is else? Uh, Spearhead Ryuki is the best. I don't know this one. Uh, then Wesley, uh, the m uh, the muse is that high. Uh, I'm not ac catching any perches. Actually, if the water is high, you should fish very shallow. It's uh, yeah. always, we saw it this weekend as well. Uh, uh, Holland's Deep, it was, uh, uh, we fish a lot in deeper water with pelagic stuff and stuff, but this weekend everything was caught around two meters. Uh, Steven is asking, do you prefer using the spinner rod or the, the cast bait casting rod? Uh, from shore in Belgium, I like using the bait caster setup because it's, it's easy to handle and I don't need the, the distance. The distance, yeah. And in Holland from the boat, always spinning rod. Uh, most of the time uh, we fish four to five meters with a, a, a twitch bait, but in your case, yeah. two meters. So it would be possible to cast a, a bait caster uh, over there. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, very nice. Then Guy is also asking, what rod would you use to twitch? I'm not uh, talking about the twitch ca uh, bait caster. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's so. This we, we saw in the beginning of the episode. Um, I'm using the Harty Rice Valley Hunter. It's a bit a bit like the um, uh, like the Carolina rig rod. It's uh, yeah. You want to have a bit of uh, um, parabolic action, but it should return to its original position very fast. Uh, so it's finding the sweet spot between very fast and <laughs> A bit more and also valuable. what what makes it work for you because yeah. you're different different yeah. than me i have completely different rods as you have then uh grind grind and how do you translate that to english i have no idea uh, the water is from uh, is going from uh, brown to uh, clear and that's and that spot is you where you want to be that's a nice tip um uh, that's on the water i'm using 18 gram uh, okay it's a bit strange uh, question. Gravel then bit. Alec is <laughs> gravel bit. Yes, thank you, Jeffrey, <laughs> for the translation. Google Translate is working. I'm using the quick clip um, from Dragon. Yeah, yeah. It's it's big style. Big style. Uh, <laughs> a bit like the yeah. uh, like the same as you. Use. Alec, I use uh, the same. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you use a steel or a fluoro leader? Indeed. What we saw this weekend is that Pikeys also like these twitch baits. Yes, pikeys do love these twitch baits. Um, what would I say? You could use a leader, a steel leader, but it will affect your uh, your, uh, your twitch bait. Yeah, it's adding this weight will yeah. Yeah, change the way that the, the lure is sinking or is S suspending. Yeah, so the thing is, I use a thick fluorocarbon leader or a thick mono leader because mono is mono is uh, floating and it i rather yeah. have floating line than a sinking line on a on a twitch bait okay because mostly mostly uh, the fish is underneath the the twitch bait and i think a fish always attacks up yeah we did we did see something different uh, <laughs> just yeah, there it's like a crazy <laughs> going on the, on the twitch baits Okay, and then uh, fast attach and place of the, instead of the, sn the snap, is it only for the weight? Also for uh, convenience. Yeah, just turning around and it's loose. Because when you have a, a small snap, yeah. I tend to, when I push it with my thumb, I tend to get the snap into my fingers when it's very cold because you don't have a lot of feeling. And with a, s a fast attach you can... Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, I remember you catching a big perch uh, which was hooked on the snap. Do you remember this one? Mm, five we years ago. <laughs> <laughs> the snap yeah. was open and the fish was hooked on yeah. the snap. It was, was crazy. crazy. Okay. Then uh, Greg is also um, saying that you can use the notable titanium-like stroff. Indeed, it's called the Niti uh, leader, I think. 
Uh, we have this one now in the boat, but we did not use it uh, or tried uh, I, a lot. I tried it for two sessions and it's true. Yeah? Okay. It doesn't affect the... Then why not only two, two sessions? Because they only have it that long. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and you lost it. They parked it in a tree. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, okay, let's see what we also have on the program. I also have another uh, movie. And this is uh, describing the, the rod action uh, that was used uh, this weekend. So here you can see a, a wonderful slow motion uh, video of Jeffrey is, who is casting. So first he is reeling in the lure uh, just to get it uh, on a certain depth and then he is twitching it. Uh, I heard some different opinions on uh, do you keep the reel still or are you like reeling in uh, slowly while twitching? What is your opinion Dieter? I uh, give action with the rod and I just uh, reel in the slack line. Okay, afterwards. Yeah. So no reeling and, and twitching no, at the same never, time. Never, never. Because yeah. when, when now you, give you can see it as well with Jeffrey's uh, technique, it's a bit the same as you're describing. Uh, when I twitch, I want the twitch to to the, the jerkbait to make its, its move. So it, it dives off to one side and I don't want any other action like when you when you would are we back yes yeah when you would uh, give it some action it goes like this and when you put uh, when you don't leave a slack line you will just slowly pull the twitch weight like this and i want it to be perfectly still, still so yeah. i give it a slack line okay good and then you you won't feel the the bait i i maybe two times i, I felt uh a fish biting but okay. on the next uh jerk you feel the that weight and then you just the push yeah. they mainly hook themselves on yeah, the, yeah, these yeah. uh these three uh, trebles okay nice um i also have a movie of you uh, your technique uh, we also saw the um in the start of this uh, episode it's you uh, with the bait casting rod let's say you can, can Actually, I'm, I'm seeing is, uh, that there is a difference in technique here and in the previous How will you use yeah, one or the other? Now I, I, fish, uh, I, need, I need the fish were there, so I'm fishing a bit uh, slower. And as you can see, I'm fishing the blue carbon line. Okay. No, I don't know if it's visible from the You always see me backing up again after a jerk. I always go back with the with the so I give the slack line. And now by, by this moment I know I'm above the fish. Okay. I have to be here yeah. and yeah. now I'll start to show you. See how the the rod back uh pushes back? Yeah. It's drilling back directly. So it's actually twitch, twitch, leave the, the lines uh, slack and then with the reel you just oh. reel up the, the slack line and then you twitch again. Again, having some slack again. Okay, that's nice. I'm you do everything. So you have a solar yeah. the next day. Okay. Then it's our goal. <laughs> then it's our goal. <laughs> goal. Are you actually also gonna catch a fish or are we yeah, just yeah, catching yeah. the movie? Enjoy the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So, if you have some more questions about technique, I see there is also something else. A lot of chatting. I always fish with one hand. I twitch three, uh, three, four times, and then reel my basket bait caster with my finger. That's actually the technique we just saw with. Uh, you can do Luther. that. You can do that with the uh, BFS uh, reel. I'm herring the star on oh, no, a rayer. <laughs> no, no, trigger. I, the, I trigger the star of the drag. Okay, yeah, it's just with the with the finger you you, you reel up the the, the, the the slack line. Uh reel on gasoline dither. Hmm, okay, what a strange question. Which knot are you using to uh, not on the fluorocarbon dither? On the uh, if you're using fluorocarbon yeah. line on the braid. It's a double uni. A double uni knot. Yeah. Okay. It's the double unit. I don't know this one, but a lot of people are actually using the FG knot, which is uh, quite known indeed. Um, For flu I use uh, the fluocarbon too. Fluocarbon, uh, I use the the double uni. Okay. 
Gut. Um, ah, ah, the sound on the movie. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I probably uh, did not uh, mute the the, mo the sound of the movie. Move. All right. So I have uh, still one movie of our session of Friday. I will start it up. We can. I can give some comments on it. Again, we are fishing, and it's again Jeffrey is catching fish. It looks like I'm not catching fish, or Jeffrey is not filming me. I think it's a second. <laughs> so we are at uh, the lure is at five meters, and you can see actually a fish on the bottom there, and it's coming up. It's coming up, following the lure, lure following the lure, and then he has the fish. So again, not taking it, uh, the let's say the twitch bait immediately, but um, yeah, it's actually probably trying to take it uh, a couple of times. And indeed, good guy as I'm, I am. Not helping to land the fish, but just filming Jeffrey, which gives us this nice footage. And <laughs> I wanted to also have nice footage, but I don't have it. Okay, so uh, Peter always joins yes, to net the fish. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Next week topic, Dieter explaining BFS fishing. Oh, yeah, no. it could be. Um, actually, if you have some more suggestions on uh, episodes, uh, we are now doing uh, six episodes, so the, the we are on the fourth, eh? so we still have, uh, let's say, uh, fishing or, uh, or boat batteries, and we uh, still have netherick fishing, and then it's finished uh, for this first series. Um, if you have some suggestions or ideas, or you just say, hey, I can explain a lot about uh, fishing on big pike with big lures, yeah, we can. You can maybe arrange something that you can come in the studio and we will talk about uh, the fishing techniques. Um, I'm learning on YouTube. I'm not doing anything wrong. Actually, if you're, by the way, um, on this topic, if you're watching a lot of YouTube, please also check out the videos of VestTD, the Vest Technische Dienst. They, these are uh, uh, Dutch guys that have made a lot of videos on Twitch bait fishing. Uh, it's really well explained, uh, better than I can do. Uh, and also, I think uh, somebody just liked this on uh, Instagram. <laughs> if you follow us or don't follow us yet on Instagram, please do and make the counter move. All right. Uh, yeah, so Guy uh, is trying to or using the SG knot. Okay, so that's it for today's session. We are around one hour uh, of... Uh, let's say uh, TV time uh, or streaming time busy. Uh, what I will do I is um, I will still need to give away the lure of the day. And this will be done like this. Uh, Dieter, you can hold it. Drum I rolls. Some drum rolls. Uh, it's this one indeed. And I will select a winner. Close the entries. And pick a winner. And the winner is... It's Christoph Ficking Ficking 69. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's you, Christoph. But, uh, <laughs> what congrats, a congrats. Great, uh, great uh, nickname. <laughs> Ficking 69. Okay, then. Uh, no comments on that one. No. Uh, I know where that comes from. Uh, so, good. My voilà. God. Congrats, uh, Christoph. You can collect it uh, maybe next week or the next time you pass by. So, we are at the end of our episode. Uh, thanks for the info. I really learned a lot. That's what we hope to try uh, yes. to accomplish. Uh, he and Dimi is parked at the K at the the how do you say it on the, where the truck what? stops the quay. Yeah, something like this <laughs> one. I have no idea. Uh, ho uh, thank you, Paul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Lorenzo, also, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, Alec, uh, thanks for the chat. It's really interesting to have some. Uh, it's uh, not uh, two guys uh, just explaining stuff. It's we uh, are trying to yeah, just uh, talk about a certain technique yeah. and then we interact with the chat. It's very nice, uh, very fun. The more questions you have, the more we like it. Yeah. So. When are you back? I hope next week. Uh, I still need to make a lot of uh, or some footage about um, batteries. Next week we will talk about batteries. I will try my very, very best to have some good footage about batteries. We will talk about uh, different batteries, uh, belly boats, uh, just like portable batteries uh, from Yaro cells or uh, maybe other brands. We will maybe set a battery on fire, uh, <laughs> uh, right. slam a nail to a battery, I don't know. Um, 
what an, ah, uh, just a, a small remark from Louis. What competitions do we, we do this year? This year we will do uh, in March the Zender Pro qualification, which will be me and Jeffrey. Uh, then uh, in uh, June it's the Predator Tour. Uh, then in September it's Lure Masters. Yep. And in November it's the World Predator Cup again from Willem Stolk. Uh, shoot the battery, Greg says. Shoot the battery. We could try it with an air gun or something. <laughs> uh, actually, that's a nice idea. I it's going to get you a lot of uh, more viewers. So <laughs> yeah, maybe call the fire department. Uh, is that from Zander Pro from YouTube? Indeed, uh, Guy. So this year they also are uh, in organizing an, uh, a qualifier round, which means if you win this competition, the qualifier, you can participate in the official Zander Pro. But it will be also uh, streamed uh, live, the complete uh, qualifier uh, competition. Maybe I was thinking also to, to do a, an episode about uh, uh, fishing competitions and maybe try to have some organizers in the show. Nice. Uh, we can also do it on like a video chat uh, with some guys or organizers. That would be cool. Um, voilà, that's it. Um, if you have some more uh, questions, your your PR. Your personal best on Twitch base, uh, Dieter? Uh, I would say a 49. 49. I can't say it was a 15. 15. Okay. <laughs> I can't say it. For me, I have no idea. Because I only... I don't really make the distinction between baits. Uh, I have some caught some perches how, and some How big Zander, was the, big, the biggest one you caught uh, last week? I can't say. No? All but right. I, caught, <laughs> I actually only caught Sander, I think. It was Jeffrey <coughs> who yeah. was catching okay. all the perch. Um, yeah, that's correct, Guy. That's indeed Ooh. correct. Uh, uh, 50. No 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You laugh all you want, did, uh, Louis. Okay. Brelourfest, we are not... Uh, I'm not... Uh, uh, maybe I'm uh, competing, but uh, I don't really uh, see this as a big fishing competition, uh, boat-wise. Let's see. Uh, let's say... Uh, maybe we will compete, yeah, indeed. Maybe. Okay. So, if you guys Thank have... You. No more questions. I hope you enjoyed the show. Next week we will try to be back. I'm, I'm let's say, 95% uh, sure I'll, I'll be back uh, next week. Um, just uh, keep an eye on our Facebook, on our Instagram, and then we will see. Uh, we will uh, show you uh, if we are going live. Success, he says. Are you also going live? Yeah, indeed. In the um, mm. the Zander Pro, the Zander Pro, or all the other competitions are uh, live streaming, and our boat has the let's say all, uh, automatic system which you don't have to touch it just uh, sending to the op uh, to the organizers and uh, we will of course uh, do some live streaming okay cool now we will really have to close it off and i see you guys next week bye 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 thanks for watching bye